Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ice Lakes and I am going to be taking part in something a little more extravagant this time. I'm going to be actually taking part in a full tournament. Now, some strange things have been happening over the past week or so. I have my numbers of views for this particular series that I do for Ice Lakes have literally skyrocketed. I have no idea what I've been doing or what I have, you know, done to to get such ratings. But I am so happy about it. But the thing is, because of that, I think I need to do a lot more stuff for you guys because obviously this is a series that you guys really enjoy. Well, let me go ahead and get this started. We are going to be going into the tournament button here now what I'm particularly interested in playing is this one called seasonal now we're going to be spending our time in one place and that is at the fishing islands however we're going to be doing different types of competitions the first one being the most species I think after that is the most amount and I'm not sure what's after that but we'll find out uh, we're starting out on morning it's autumn and we've got a 30 minute session here going on now if there's any lulls in here I might cut out parts just to save time for the video but anytime there's action you can be sure that you're going to be seeing it anyway guys let's go ahead and get this started this doesn't finish though until you you do not get any of the money until you actually get through all three of these competitions and you have to at least come in first place with the, all three of them combined you don't have to win every one of them but you have to win all combined let's go ahead and get a start now with the most species I would imagine it would be better to use the Mormishka Let's see here. What am I? Why am I? Okay, there we go. <laughs> he was just standing there. Yeah, you notice there's not as much snow. So it's not as cold. That's kind of a good thing because... Oh gosh, looks like everybody wants to go to the same place I wanted to go. Now I'm going to continue using this smaller one because I'm after the smaller fish this time. I've got 30 minutes, so I've got a little more time than I normally have. Now let me see what I've got by my more Mishkas here. I think I'm going to go with the Tropical Sunrise. And I thought I had another one here. Hmm, guess I don't. Um, actually, I think what I might try is these... I just got these dough balls, and they're good for some... Other things like black crappie, Prussian carp, roughy. So maybe we can get something a little different this time. Oh, there it goes. And I got a different bait on, uh, also I want to try out. Drone flies or something like that. We'll try this for a while and see how it does. Now I'm going to do the side to side here because we're going to be going after the the smaller fish for the most part I'm going to jig up and down see if that does anything there we go got a tench 1.17 pounds still got a little bit of dough on there so Apparently the dough is doing pretty good. Now what I'll do is I'll fish here for a while until they kind of slack off and then I'll move a little bit shallower. Alright, come on. We know you're in there. There we go. Okay, another tench. Normally I'd be thrilled to death, but I need different species here, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to change up my bait here. Go to the drone fly, give that a try. Yeah. 
throw in a little bit of this bait and we'll see if we can't get something different here supposedly the bluegill like these so let's see if there's any bluegill in there there we go ooh a xander okay we got a different species that works I still have a little bit of bait one thing I like about fishing in the autumn though is you don't have to scoop that out hardly at all anymore I don't know if you guys noticed too the ice houses aren't here anymore I haven't seen them I don't know if they took them out or what but I haven't seen them on any of the maps maybe they were having bugs or something going on with them it's hard there we go well he hit hard whatever he was another Xander all right let's try going a little shallower Some more bait on our hook. All right, I'm going to take this up to about here. And we're just going to just into the ice right near the surface, see if there's anything around there a little different. And if I get another tinch or another Xander, I think I'm going to move. Okay, we got a roughie. Good, good. Very good. Of course, we can also still use our balance lures, too, just to see if that doesn't attract anything different. I kind of prefer to use the balance lures for deeper water, though. I think that was just me. Looked like it bobbed down real hard, but I think it was just me. All right, guys, come on. There we go. Now we're talking whitefish. That's four species. Still good on the bait. Yeah, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna go ahead and pull up stakes. Move to a different part of the lake. Let's see. Hmm. You know what? This looks in this looks promising. It's shallow, but it's got some structure here I'm gonna go ahead and refresh that bait and put some of that down let's give her a try here let's go a little deeper than that see what kind of things swim down here in the shallows there we go a pike all right that's five and I still have bait can't beat that I 
Pike was a little unexpected. <laughs> He's a little bitty guy, though. There we go. That's ah. Oh. Gotta be kidding me! You're killing me, people. Too slow. Seriously. Another roughy. Okay, looks like we're going to be getting roughies now. All right, let's go ahead and pull up stakes again. Keep moving. This time I'm going to go out here deep. Right around in here. Alright, let me see. I'm going to change my rod here. Uh, I'm going to go with the medium for now. And we're going to go to the balance lowers this time. Uh, salmon snake. I've been wanting to try this one. Just bought it not too long ago. And that a pretty lure. All right, let's give her a try because I'm kind of interested to see how this does. Now we're going to go a lot deeper this time. There we go. We're going to see what the heck is down here. And if I get something big, I'm going to have to change my heavier rod and my heavier auger. figure if I keep moving to different depths should get different fish oh boy not sure that one's gonna make it through we'll see oh boy I don't know if it's gonna make it it did nice pike nice pike real nice well, they like that that's for sure now, let me try some of this trout jam, see if I can't track me up some salmon. Even though I like getting the pike, I already caught one, so... Hmm. So usually I'm like, oh yeah, it's a pike! <laughs> this time it's like, eh, it's a pike. Can't believe I'm saying that. Okay, we're gonna try the side to side, see if we can scare up something a little different here. Okay, I did see it bob, so I'm hoping. Ah, here we go, a flounder. Nice. What is that, six species now, I think? Something like that. Okay, something bit, I think. Yep, another flounder. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna shift gears here. I'm gonna put this about the middle. 
And I'm going to change my... No, I'm going to keep this one. See if we can't get something in the center here. Then we'll go shallow. Whoa, okay, that one's big. I hope I can get it through this hole. Wow, decent sized whitefish. Not what I needed, but still decent sized. <clears throat> Too bad this wasn't total weight. <laughs> Seemed to be doing pretty good on a total weight. Okay, something went for it. Shoot, another white fish. All right, they seem to be hovering around there. Let's try. I'm gonna switch our bait. Or yeah, we're gonna switch back to the Mormishka. All right, let's try dough balls this time. Or no, drone flies. I'm sorry. All right, guys, we're going to move on a little bit here. Let's see what the heck. Oh, shoot. I zoomed way in on the map some earlier to try to find a new location. Uh, I think I'm going to go deep this time. My trouble is coming over this way means I have a... long way to walk to get back so I gotta really watch my time but it is like super super deep here so we might have to go with our bigger our bigger rod let's see that's not what I want we're going to go with the salmon snake again. And we are going to... Yeah, I think we're going to go with our bigger rod. That's just all there is to it. I'm afraid that's not going to work. Oh my luck, I'll break the darn thing. Let's give it a shot, and we'll drop in a little lure. See what we can catch down in the depths. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm about ready. Wait a minute, something, something better at that. It was subtle. I had a feeling it was a flounder. Had me a feeling. I just was sure there'd be a big one down here somewhere. I'll tell you what. You know. I'm going to go with what works. And my green goblin always worked for me. It has always been good for these big fish. Maybe they just don't like these new guys. Or maybe it's the wrong time of year, I don't know, but... I'm hoping for a great big salmon or something. That would get us a... I think that would bring us up to seven species, I'm not sure. I've played these individualized tournaments before. Not this full spread. Let's see. There, there we go. Oh, this one's decent, guys. Look how long it's taken it to come up. Either it's a big perch or salmon or something like that. 
Ooh, decent pike. I've already got pike, but even I have to admit that was pretty good. Come on, let's get us the salmon here, guys. Come on. I think what I'll do is I'll fish here to about I have six minutes left, and I'm going to move back into the shallows if I can't get anything different out here in the depths but move a little bit closer so I can get back to the place a little quicker I don't like being out quite this far because I have a tendency to get fishing and not paying much attention to the time getting a lot of flounder here Yeah, we're gonna have to go to a little bit shallower. Tell you what, let's let's go there. Let's go there. Let's just give it a try right about here. Kinda wanna spread myself all over the place. Okay, that was something. Okay, perch. Good. That's different. That works. I think that's seven now. Alright, it's six minutes. Let's get up. Yeah, I don't want to be that far away. It's all the way up here, guys. So what I want to do is I want to kind of look around as I'm coming back. See if I can't find some brush or something close to shore. In a fairly shallow area. Done the rocky alcove. Okay, here. Wait a minute. Let's try over here. Yeah, let's go real shallow here. We're gonna. Now I'm gonna use my bigger auger anyway. The reason is so that I can get a little bit more of a more area to go back and forth on. Now we are gonna change our rod, obviously. I'm gonna go to the light one ultralight and yes we're gonna go to a Mormishka I think we're gonna keep using the tropical sunrise I've been having a lot of luck with this one and I want to try my let's see my dough balls again dough balls and then the drone flies I am determined to get a crappie or a bluegill here. There we go. Pike. <laughs> I swear to God. Pike, pike, pike. If I wanted a pike, I wouldn't get a pike. And I don't want a pike. And I wish there was an all pike tournament. I'll tell you, I would be dead. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. Please. That was not too slow. You're too slow. There we go. A roughy. Oh, shoot, I've already gotten that too. Okay, I'm out of bait. Alright, let's go to the drone flies you're killing me fish you're killing me I only got a few minutes that's all she wrote there we go huh white fish not what I wanted at least I still have the bait I'm gonna keep this going until the close to the end as I can guys because I really oh god Ruffy I 
There's a little bit on there. I'm going to try up and down. Maybe I'll have more luck with that. Well, I'm definitely catching a roughy. Don't really have time to move now, guys. I'm going to, I'll tell you what, I'm going to quickly switch. Let's try my red devil. Just turn my red devil. Dough balls. Got very little time left, guys. So little time. Come on, crappie. I really want one crappie. Just need one. A Xander. Got that too. <laughs> I want a crappie. Give me a crappie. Usually crappie go for the up and down jigging, so we'll try that, but seems like they're just Alright guys, that's it. I give. Let's pull stakes. We gotta get back. That's just all there is to it. It's 58 seconds. Fifty-eight seconds in this competition is finito. It's like, where the heck have you been, dude? You're pushing it. You're pushing it, get it? All right. I wonder how they did. Guess we'll find out soon enough, huh? Yeah, I always like to push that envelope. And survey said, I got it with eight, guys, eight. I didn't get the most weight, but I got the most species. Awesome. Yeah, the biggest fish was by Raji Asikanen. <laughs> oh, man. 6.07 pipe. It didn't do him any good in this competition. Well, guys, that is the first step of that particular tournament, and we are going to be going on to the next one in the next episode. This is another 30-minute session. This time it's going to be in the winter time, and this time it's the total amount, so the number of the fish determines the winner. So that's in those type of competitions, that's when you want to really use your ultralight, stay near shore, and catch the little ones because you can pull them in one ray after another ray after another. Do not go deep. You don't have time for it. And with that little rod, it doesn't take long to pull them up. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next episode. And hopefully we'll win that one as well. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.